What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. Today, we're going to be looking at a 30 big blind scenario. We're going to play the big blind, and I want to focus on finding check rate. So, let's get started. Is this a good one? I'd just fold here. Maybe. Yeah, that. you can't do anything with this. You want something between the jack and the eight, some backdoor draws, something. King 10. I like next ten. Okay, so I don't think this is a good check rate. Never, never against the tiny bet, we have some raises. You just call. Yeah, calling's great. You know calling's what? plus EV for sure. You know what? Um I thought we had pocket fives for a second. You're going to get married to somebody and say I do. There's going to be times where I do see. So uh, there'll be some raises. It's a, it's uh it will there'll be some raises here. Yeah, I don't mind this as a check raise because you can barrel with a six or an eight as well. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. This is definitely a check raise. I probably had fives. <laughs> Before you had the suited fives? Suited fives. And we're kind of at the bower end of our straight uh, our flush draws, which is nice. So, what kind of size do we go for? Small. Small. Ooh, look at this! Perfect. There you go. Okay. And then, oh yeah, that's and yeah, we gotta go. Gotta. Now we're going broke. And then, yeah, we got blast off. Seven four. Well, I don't think we have to blast off. No seven. Yes, we do. Mandatory. Totally mandatory. We have nine high. Can we not bet small sometimes? 55. So thinking of our range, when we have a king here, that's a pretty big brick. What kind of sizing is your king going to bet to beat all the cookies? Um, your king's going to be pretty resilient to the stack to pot ratio. You're just going to want to set up a jam. So oh, I think it's oh. going to go four sometimes. I think it's going to go seven. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm thinking four has to be used sometimes. Yeah. Where it is. Yeah. Yeah. You have to just gonna set up and gonna set up the clean river jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't really need to size up here. Uh, I mean well, nothing's re nothing's really changed as well. Uh, like I thought seven set up a better jam, honestly. But we but we bet but we bet big, we only get cool by king. Yeah, if you change the sim to 40, it'll probably start it picking. The flip side of that is when you bet big, you get him to hold everything other than a king. Yeah. Yeah, but anything that's over a nine, we are happy if it folds. Yeah. Um, okay, so turns. Yeah, he's starting to get short enough that his king's just going to be indifferent to our size, though. Okay. Like, see, if it, see if it changes like what kings he folds if we change size and Oh, he ain't folding any kings yet, right? No matter what. Yeah. Um, I just want to see quickly. There's another way to put this, but okay, by cards. There we go. Where... By the way, though, it's your jam with fours was fine. That's what I thought. I thought it was fine. It can mixes. You... It mixes though. 50 -50. Can you send me the screenshot of the range? 50-50. Pocket four. Yeah, not a slam dunk, but it's it's uh in there enough for for me. Okay. I thought it was really, really out of line. It calls too though. Calling's just as well. And I thought in my mind majority would be suited aces and suited kings. Hey, you want to say the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely actually. So not many suited kings. That's the first thing I see. Suited aces are in there. So Lewis, why don't you stick with these a seven, a five suited, a four suited? You know that's all, that's always good, right? Yeah, maybe I should. I don't know this guy was pretty wide, but this other guy. So. Yeah. And what did he show up with? Oh, he had kings. <laughs> oh, that's in range. <laughs> that's in. Oh. Oh my god, this guy's range is way wider than this. <laughs> <gasps> I 
So if his range is wider, the jamming force is better because you get more folds. It'll make it yeah. a little bit better. So I mean, it was almost ten percent of aces as it was, so I it's reasonable. It some frequency like against this yard is probably not too bad actually. It's reasonable. So point twenty eight. Do we get that? We get exactly that. Yeah. And if he's wider, it's going to go up. All right. Well, it wasn't that crazy, Lewis? After all. Yeah. Now, on the other hand, if he calls wider, they're going to go down. Mm. I mean, he, he should really cool super wide, though. My bounty's relevant as well. It's like $10. I, I think maybe we should give up at this point. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, having spades is now bad. You got to find you... some spades to bluff, right? I think I jam here personally. You jam? You're gonna see a king a lot, but I mean sometimes I mean we bet smaller turns, so he's gonna have like some jacks, some tens, nines, eights, which will fold. Like my, my number one question after the turn barrel, I think a lot of A size have folded, right? Yeah, I, probably I jack nines have folded, right? Queen yeah, it's your, well. with kings and sevens and small pockets. I'll go out yeah. on a limb and say if we have bluffs, they aren't going to be for an all in size anyway. Mm -hmm. But I don't I'm never bluffing here. I would give up, honestly. We are we we okay. I was just thinking we unblock folds. I believe we are gonna jam some spades though. Interesting that let's give up. Lots of all in, so half of them gotta be bluffs, right? Where is the shoot now? Okay. I don't know how to structure that range at all. Okay, so I thought maybe we'd have some of these jamming, but it's more like 10-3. Good, there's not many combos at all. Yeah. Uh, it's You want to have a jack which blocks the combinations that connect with queens and kings. You, yeah, and then you get better jack fold. Let me go you're for jamming, you're jamming you go queens? for a small size and it looks like I wouldn't think to jam queen, so yeah, it's not even jamming, so Ken was right. Not jamming oh. bluffs and then okay, so it's like only using the worst jacks to get better jacks to fold. And then some ASI are still in there as well. And what size? Half pot? It's like thirty five percent pot. Small. Yeah. And yeah, I guess we're using a lot of thin value bets too, right? What? And then we're going for thin value too, right? Queens are betting some. Yeah. Your worst kings. Well, that's him. Oh, that's him. That's us. So we're not. So what is this range? It's a lot of all ins for us. Yeah, the kings are betting. That sizing sometimes two pair. Uh the Either kings bet pair. big and the queens bet small. Yeah, it's both two everything is two pair, but not the queen line. All right. So find more check raises. I think we can check raise here. Dude, I fold. You fold? Yeah. Why? Got nothing. Yeah, but you can get better jacks to fold. Yeah. Sure um, yeah. Flush. We have two back doors. You can get king eyes to fold, maybe. Queen uh, ace eyes for sure. No? Okay, maybe not. Maybe this one. So jack five, jack eight, jack ten. Jack four, maybe. Oh, like Jack five, yeah. Jack five. So Jack three, but not Jack deuce. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, say we had Jack three. Well, three can make it straight. Well, two can technically, too. Three's right. I wouldn't do three. I mean, four, you can make a seven eye straight, whatever. See this block here, it's doing like a bit of the same, right? Yeah. High low. Um, like 
one over card, a little bit of interaction. Ten deuce, why ten deuce, but not jack deuce? I don't know. And ten five, I would probably way overdo. I mean, I never... Maybe maybe deuce has a lot of equity. Maybe these just have bad blockers. Okay. Whereas Jack Deuce needs to go run a runner eight ten in order to get a straight. I'm probably not deep enough to do, to do that. Maybe if you look for four, six, or eighty picks, maybe it will happen more. But I don't know. Yeah, you'll start mixing in a small frequency to cover you on those runouts, but the ten has the direct gut shot. Yeah. Okay, we check raise and then he calls. And then we're in no man's land, and then ace comes. Bended ship. Give up. I agree. Yeah, I give up. This isn't our card. It's fine to mix in a check raise with a hand like this, but you got to not overdo it by barreling too many turns. Wow, he checks back the, the ace check. We scared him with our big check raise. So, say we had, like, king and spade three here. Oh. oh. And this SP, at this stack? By king and spades, I would call. Okay. Yeah, I can't walk them more. I mean, I mean, we're not gonna raise much, I think, because like we're too shallow. We want to raise more of our flush doors rather than back doors. I think. Oh no, we get to raise the spades. Raise a lot. Oh, king has paid anything here. Ace has paid anything. And then look at our like we can even pick some hearts here. I'm I wouldn't venture into hearts here. It seems like I could. Nice. So the offsuit kings were spades? Yeah. But not all of them. We got back blocker properties between the four and the seven. And then the king eight is doing it again. King three is doing it. So you don't want to block the bottom of the range when we check raise that bluff, I guess. <laughs> it's still the king of spades. So. King of spades is a party here. And then you bet small on the turn. Oh. Well, what if you had the king of spades instead of the four? Lewis? Uh, I don't know. It's ace side board. Can you do it? You don't have an overcard anymore. Yeah, I think you might Oh, that's... If you have the king of spades, you're drawing to the nuts. Mm. I'm not sure, actually. I mean, it's, it's an ace-high board. It's like a really bad board for us. I'm doing it anyway. Let's see if he has an ace. Alright? <laughs> so let's see where we're at. <laughs> Let, no, no, let's just... Yeah, so let's yeah, find out. Yeah, maybe he's checks and then uh, gives up on top. Like people like don't play back. People don't check raise enough and people don't play back at check raise. They're gonna call too wide, I think, on the check raise, and then they're gonna fold the turn almost every time. Yeah, I'm folding. I'll call. Um, this one I'll fold. That does. King of spade. Even cool sometimes. Yeah, you could. But they were supposed to find check raises. I guess the guy's bet in range, so you get to Yeah, for you sure. Know, you get to fold out a lot of his range with the check yeah. raise. Yeah. So fifteen percent check raise here. Remember check raise ace eight suited as well. <laughs> Okay. okay, all right. What do we do here? The pair board. We're on the big line. Yeah, we mostly defend by check raising, but tens are pretty good for his range still. I don't hate calling and seeing what happens on the turn. We got upper dangler to the pair card. Yeah, I mean it's, it might raise some actually. There's not there's not many good cards though, man. Like like Queen of Spades, Jack of Spades, like makes a flush. Like... What about the ace, the king, the queen, the jack? 
That's pretty good cards for us, no? We got yeah. a nine. We could work with that nine. Maybe an eight, even. Uh, I think I just fold here without without the backdoor flush draw. I think we gotta find some check raise. I, I mean, it's only it's only one big though. That's the thing. Like you have to defend a lot of our range. That's true. We gotta we gotta continue with a lot of hands either by calling or raising. Oh, he's folding. Yeah, sometimes. We need to find I mean, check raises. I mean, the EV is very the EV is very low. I think our check raises are going to be very driven by a spade here, blocking yeah. his realization of value and our backdoor ability to get value. Hundred percent agree with you. Pete. So did you check raise? Yes. You good. got a bet big. Do we? Not in a month. Take at least seven. You pick up equity, so you're definitely going to barrel. But I'm not yeah. sure about betting. If we had trip tens, we would probably bet small here, though, because we can still just get it all in on the river by only betting four with yeah. a stack to pot ratio of one bet. I think I like four as well. Yeah, I, I like four. I like a check one. Like from 30 big blind, you don't really double barrel big when you check raise against a small bet. But I'm under the impression at least. Like, why would we bet big? Like, we, we, we don't really want him to fold his flush draws, right? He was using it a little bit, though, right? 25% of the yep. time. Well, yeah. I, think we have, I think we have to value bet now, no? Uh, yeah, we sh I think so. I would block bet. That's small. So, first off, that's going to be our turn strategy on an eight. So, it's not, not see, the, the tendency is like small. Going small more than. And I think it's because of stack now. Mm -hmm. uh... I, mean, I think it's all in or block bet. I'm not really sure what to do here. Seven? You I think like it's seven. two or jam, but I don't really know. Yeah, I like seven. Well, yeah. And it's right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then what do we do against a jam when we bet seven? We just call, but it's like, ah, uh, no, I think it's an easy call without blocking space, actually. All right, what can we check raise here? What do, what will we need for our hand to qualify as a check raise here? It's in the low off suit junk part. 10-6. 10-6 off, you think, is good? With an eight? Ten eight, yeah. Ten eight might be too good. Ten eight's a double or double. Yeah, ten, yeah, ten eight might be too good actually. What is any, any five eight type of thing? Six five. Six five five eight. Back door I, I yeah. think six four is too weak. Yeah. So, so I, just I think I think we're gonna check raise around cards that have value at the top. So King Jack. Six five. Rather than rather than uh, like the bottom end, right? We want to have better equity hands. So the overcard is an attractive option here. Okay, yeah. Than the undercards. The undercards just want to realize their straight equity when you start to get shallow. And the cards with the immediate ability to make a resilient top pair are going to be more attractive check raises when you're shallow. Like these, right? Um, no, like King Jack. Right? You can see that one really, really wants to check raise. Right? Jack 10's in there. I thought we were just yeah. asking about the, what six is. Oh, so you want to overcard to the nine. A 10 6 was a great option as well. Ken said that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a 10 6 here. Just check crazy in that space. So 7. Queen, Queen, 7. You can get a line a little bit with this, I think. With this? Uh, like both, yeah. No, I mean, it's okay, but I prefer something like eight six that has the overcard to the seven. 
Yeah, what do we need here? What's the worst hand we check raise in the lower of soup bar? This one. This yeah, this might be it. Like I like that we have three in a row that it's not like a you know it's a backdoor straight draw, but it's not a gappy backdoor straight draw. So it's a good backdoor straight draw. Well the five, six, seven, you guys want to raise it. My worst. Okay. So, I'm really not confident about this. I mean, no, I, think flush, I think it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna yeah, 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 it's starting to mix in one percent. That's a sign that it's cuspy. Okay, yeah, maybe. What's the worst one if it's not this one? Shoot it one. If we have to shoot it one probably. It's gonna have to be an eight X, I guess. Yeah, Would like, it take like six five of spades, like Roger is saying? Huh? I, I think that's the bottom. I really want to see it, man. Yeah, I think it might want the overcard to the seven two. So like eight nine of all three suits is gonna eight, check raise, I would think. Ten eight? Ten eight yeah. with the backdoor flush? Um ten eight okay. might be a little too like the queen's just too disconnected. If it was Jack Jack seven, maybe ten eight's a better one. The ten is kind of a dangler to the queen, no? Jack eight, ten eight, nine oh. eight. I think we're all decent. Yeah, do we check? Do we check with right, any go. sevens for value, like a seven? Yeah, all seven checkers. Oh, look! Oh, at see, that. see, this is something oh, I probably man. don't find the sevens check raise in here. So we said I said ten eight. I remember that. Not a great check raise. Back to our Oh, great one! Yeah, we got the five six of spade suit of thrones. Five six five of spade with the back door. So we had that, Roger. That was good. Uh, the sevens are all raising for sure. Uh, you just want, yeah. God, there's a lot of check. The raises worst here. off suit ten was like ten nine, right, or nine eight. It's a oh no, that's his pair. So why nine, eight. Take these two because it's like above the seven. Simple as that. Yeah, you can make a new second pair, and you can turn open ended. Ah, okay. Right, the ten nine can turn it with the queen and the seven, and the nine eight can turn it uh, with the set with the a right. ten or a six. Making a new second pair and turning. Making a new okay. second pair and being able to double belly or open ender on the turn. Yeah, I like that. So higher equity hands. Six five here is just pure trash. Yep. Okay, what's the worst hand we check raise here? Do you check raise like uh, enough off suit 10 with a spade in your hand? Four three of spades. Four three of spades, sure. Easy. King, King deuce. The King deuce, easy. But the thing is, uh, do you check raise enough suit 10 here? With just the tennis page. Uh you could do ten eight, yeah. probably ten nine. Well ten nine might be too good. Maybe king nine better with a spade. Like ten five. Can you I think do king, ten five here? I think king nine's a good one. King nine with a spade. King nine for sure, Lewis. That's an yeah. But what about like uh, the the ten? Can we pull up ten here? I mean, ten five might do it. I'm just not looking for these super mark. Like, I'm not looking for these slivery spots. You should. Not anymore. It's not worth it. You should. We can check raise an ugly ten, but uh, only if you have the ten eight of spade. We even a nine. I wouldn't find a nine. Yeah, I mean, ten eight, I'm good with. I'm not doing ten seven, ten six. It's a waste. Oh. We don't have pairs of suit. No, okay. Yeah, just a, a nasty pen. Okay, what else do we check raise? Flush draws. A lot of flush draws. The yeah. deuce. King three, yeah, king bit. four, king five. King Suited. Yeah, the and kings in suit. general. The aces in general. Spades. Um, best spades are just calling. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
Okay, let's just fold and find something better. Same type of board, but this one is a little bit more fun. So a king five of spade here is a good check raise, right? Yeah. That's reasonable. And then This is even reasonable. Five maybe, seven? Maybe with the king of spades this would be but yeah, better for sure. But this just might still be reasonable. It's it's rainbow, so I don't think we use suit related like strategies. This could be a reasonable check raise, I think. Why? Well, you got backdoor straights rolling and over, and if you can get a fold right away with this garbage hand, it's pretty good. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. The eight is above, now, so the six, and the king's above the queen. Uh, maybe big maybe no does not no hmm. i would never call King that seven. that's the thing like i can't just call that hand if you had a seven a six or a five though more connected to the six and four yeah. okay plays easier yeah. and then and you can get their king eight to fold seems to be picking spades more Am I crazy? At least on the king seven. I noticed that when you do when it's a rainbow board, it seems to choose. It's often the hierarchy of the highest suit first. So the queen of spades, the spades is the high. I yeah, see that a lot. It's picking the spades here. It's not a hundred percent, I don't think, but I do see this hierarchy when it selects suits on these boards. Okay. One, he bets one now. What do we do with him? We call sometimes. It's dead, right? I mean, I ain't calling. All right, now I'm gonna oh, yeah. stack. Hmm? You got a bluff. You got a bet. Yeah, 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 bet. I guess three. Three is probably good. You get some real money. Thing is, it reminds me of Lee Wiss's hand yesterday when he had the six. If the guy has pocket nine here, we're just value owning ourselves. You know what? It might bet one because I you mean, try to get called by ace high, maybe. That's what I think. If you're black, I mean, that... you're going minimum, not not greedy a little bit with your eight here. Damn, yeah. I'm too greedy. Oh no, oh no. Oh, it is greedy. <laughs> it's a little bit greedy here. I mean, this is a completely different spot to the one yeah, yeah, I but... had yesterday. The, and the EV is exactly the same. So, like, you can't really make a mis big mistake there. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, did you call it this? The thing is he doesn't have very many worse eights, but he definitely has some, right? He's 10, 8, 9, 8, stuff like that. So what do we do phrase with here? Do you have any fives with no spade that are raising? Yeah, right here. Okay. <laughs> so like if you have a one spade in your hand, it's kind of easy to figure it out, right? Can... I would call. You call every spade? Yeah, I'll call if I had a spade and bluff with my non-spades, I think. Yeah, yeah it's, I think uh, this is going to be a very under check raised, like low check raised board. Because you lack the sets, which really want to check raise for value. So you're going to be driven by the six and the four. So we'd want a high card with our five, basically. Not really like a naked five. And it didn't choose the spade, right? The seven five? Seven five off, no. Nope. For spade, yep. Spade is calling for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, all of these you can check raise with a spade, a five x. What's queen six here? Got her. Just it just gets better stuff to fold. It gets is all their high? non spade king highs, ace highs, better queens. It's clearly using the six and the four here. So it's straight interaction? Yes, yeah. man. Box there continues. Okay. So we pick combos that have straight interaction to bluff rings to balance the spades in our hand. Our range. This is a seven. 
So if it was a six, we would we would raise more. Is that what I understood? Yeah, it was only a sliver, yep. so we could pay us. If it's a six with no spades, we can raise more. But out of all the six, the one that raised the least because of the pair. Well, let's get out of line since it does its slivers and see how we play this since it's unusual. Uh, I think you got to bet again. Yeah, this is really good for our check raising. Oh, hold on. He's got aces, man. Hold on. I, this. I yeah. think I'm done. I am as well. No. Ugh. No. Right. He has aces. He has aces, but we have sixes. Yeah. Right? Like, the problem with him is he's really handcuffed here with an ace. He can't escape. He's only folding an ace, though. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, boy. Is he going to turn the pair into a bluff? <laughs> no. Do we bet two or no? Like, I'm just giving up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We bet. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Are you on the half percent? Oh, oh it would have worked. This guy's calling us with eight. Eight, uh, eight high flush is snapping up. This is an easy raise. This is a. Okay, yeah. So you raise ace five as well? Ace. Yeah, and the king wheels, queen wheels, jack wheels. Oh, and wheels. Do you raise a who jack wheel here? Yeah. That's ambitious, I think, no? No. Okay. All right, all right. Not that ambitious. I see what we're doing. I'm actually overdoing it because a lot of these are only doing it a little bit. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. This is very, very nice. So we check raise very heavy on 6x. Uh, seven X. And here the board looks kind of like, it's a low board, right? So it's not going to happen often, but we check raise it like what? Like 27% of the time? Pretty often, right? More than that, wasn't it? Wasn't it almost 40%? Uh, well, 18. 18. I thought it was 18. So 26, yeah, 27%. So why do you want to raise a Satan King 8 here? He must be getting better aces to fold. I don't that know. Must be it, right? That must be it. 5.5. .5. Well, yeah, we get one combo to fold. All right, let's leave the, the bushes. Raise this guy. No, we meant. So Bigger. we're just raising big. Okay, okay. Ah, because of the nature of the board, we polarize more. So raising big, he calls king on the turn. That's not good. What if we change the suits and we have the think, ace of heart? I think it's a brick for him. Mostly. Yeah. When we raise big, he shouldn't have a lot of kings here. And we do check raise some kings. So I think it's going to barrel small. Without the heart, you think it barrels here. Like this type of hand. Because I would barrel if we had like the ace of heart. But this one, I don't know. I'm done. We got all the two pairs. He doesn't have two pairs. Other than yeah. six four suited. Do you think he? Do you think he floats a lot of king high to our check raise? I I agree with you, but I check raise to get a side to fold. I think it's done already. Because we raise big. Okay. So like, if he has like ace nine, ace ten, ace jack, probably just folds here. Do you think that we start getting a lot of his pocket pairs to when we were really pressuring like his pocket fives? Well, maybe not fives, but like pocket sevens, pocket eights, pocket nines, pocket tens, pocket jacks, like starting to pressure them pretty good. Disagree. I we think can calls uh, all of them. Yeah, but then he's got to call a river jam. You can look, uh, Louis, what uh, what the check race uh, calls, but the cutoff calls with on the check race. So what is the uh, cutoff continuing with? Yeah, he might be three betting those pairs, right? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I think it starts from the fact that he's polarizing a lot, and then we 
uh, the, the sim is locked into the thing small. Whereas in reality, it's just blasting. Oh, yeah. So, so it's a weird spot. Let's leave the bushes all in and we move on. No. <laughs> it's barrel, <laughs> it's barrel small, though. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a straight yeah. hole. That would be a pretty good straight, right? So, what about Jack Five of Spade here? No, Jack Five of Spade is is easy, right? What about uh, Jack of Spade Five? Of club. A fold. Yeah. You want a fold, Jack of Spade, five of club? It's not fold. What about Ace of Spade, five of club? Uh, easy. Ace of Spade, five of clubs, check raise. Yeah, it's okay. a What's the That's worst off suit hand with check race? Probably has a straight interaction, a five or a deuce. Maybe I don't know. I don't 67 know. off suit. Over card is tough. So we when we can't do over cards, what do we pick? Straight interaction? What Seven else? five. Uh, straight maybe, interaction, maybe, yeah. Maybe six deuce of clubs. Straight interaction. So we when we don't have over cards, like Draw rainbow with just big straight interaction. That's yeah. It. And we could choose a few hands that make a new best second pair, like 67 here. Oh. Ace five, all of them. A queen four, queen three. So four and three X. With what could be a new second pair? Is that what yeah. it is? Okay, yes. So straight interaction here. We we got that. We got that. But that's not enough. The deuce. We didn't think about the deuce very much, did we? Yeah. Six deuce of clubs was the oh. worst one on check raises. Six deuce, yeah, but nine deuce. Please. Yeah, I'm not finding a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not out there with the Montana Manana. Nine deuce. You don't have that nine deuce. I do not have nine deuce in my check raise game there. It's nine deuce. Nine deuce. So on these dry rainbow boards, it's gonna pick some bottom pairs and second pair. Yeah, that's what makes it difficult, right? So if you're not finding it, you don't really need all those other blocks. Actually, tell you what, it's mostly like ace four and ace three with the over card. That's easy to find. A queen four is a little bit more tricky here. Queen three, queen four, and then these. A little bit more. If you get rid of those queens, you can get rid of some of those twos probably. You can get definitely rid of some of those other bluffs that we're not finding. So if we're not finding all the... Maybe maybe I have an idea. Like we block king-queen and then we block pocket four. And then with this one, king-queen pocket three. So we block value. Maybe that's a thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I'm not finding them. It's probably good though, because like if you think about it, like they always back in the day used to say, like it's hard to make a pair on the flop, right? So it, maybe it sort of pays to like if you hit a pair and you have it over to at least the two other cards, it might be maybe it's valuable to actually raise them a bit more than I do, yeah. which is never. So mostly upper straight interaction with a backdoor flush and an overcard. But it's like not even an overcard. It's like okay. Well, problem is I never know when to raise. Like I see it in the sim a lot, like raising second pair, or third pair, but it doesn't always do it, and I haven't figured out really when and why. It might have this, to do with how many bluffs we want to have. This is a raise. This For him to bet small on this type of board, he must be not peddling. <laughs> His pocket 10, ace 9, king 9, queen 9. He's, 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 he's supposed to be polar here, no? Yeah. It's a very wet board. Yeah. Lots, lots of bad cards. 
Yeah, so this one is an easy check raise. What kind of size do we pick? Oh, okay. I, I think. I like big. Ball, we are going to polarize right here. Yeah, I like big. Big, big time. Yeah. Cool in 70%. I mean, that's because the range is weird, I assume. Snap check raise. Small? You don't need to hmm. polarize on these. Yeah, it's small. It's, yeah, it's small. I don't know, cool. Always raising. Well, now. Yeah. Um, small again. Small. 33. Yeah, we pick up equity with the straight at 4.4. 4. Not oh. here. Oh. Ooh, bigger. bigger. A lot bigger. This is where it picks the, the big size. Pressure to 9x, probably. But it's never falling, though, I guess. See range. It's only betting big. Is it betting big on all the turns? Mm -hmm. Almost. A six, a five. What is this order of cards? What, what am I looking at? Six, three, deuce, deuce. What's going on here? What is this? It's broke. Pairing. Okay. Cards. Six, three, ace, king. What are we doing here? I must have an option on, but I don't see. I'll figure it out later. A knife on the river, we should give up, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we now picked up slow down. No. <laughs> uh, can we have a full? Um, Did he have a king all along? I think spades is just really bad here. We block his bluffs with like our uh, six. Spades is not good, right? Yeah. Too many negative blockers. Can you really fold here? Yeah. I mean, SPL is... Yeah. Always a can. Do you need to call with your 9x here? Probably. What what nine x has a bad blocker? You don't want to call with them. Ace nine, queen nine maybe. Nine queen with the nine, ten of spades. Check nine. Check nine, ten, ten, not ten, nine, not ten. And like nine eight is extremely clean. Uh, nine seven maybe. Or nine eight nine seven. Uh, but, uh, you need to call with nine eight or nine seven. Um. Yes or no? We need to call with 9-8 because it blocks full houses. It blocks value. Okay, 9-7. 9-7 is probably bad. I probably couldn't... Ace-9. Hold with 9-7 because your 7 doesn't play as a kicker with a 9. So you can hold all of your 9s that are worse than 9-8 and call with all of your 9s that are better than 9. So the value of the kicker is good here. It's not going to be blocker effect. Like an ace is not a bad blocker here. It's a good value, I, I, like high card. Yeah, well, a spade is bad, right? So all the spades are going to want to push you to fold. Okay. So ace nine is always calling. Nine eight is always calling. The queen. The queen is the bad blocker here. Nine five is falling. All right. Oh. 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 Just a boat. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I like to check raise this one. This one might just call. Like yeah, if, you, 
if you get re-raised, it's it's probably really bad with the ace of spades. I don't think he's gonna raise back. Okay, not that much. I don't think raising back against our check raise is a big strategy here for him. So yeah, we raise small. Raise like bigger. Yeah, we, can, we're, we have a lot of raises for sure. But say we raise small. Oh. Well, probably if we had a pure pure flush draw with the gutter, then probably it's like the call. See, raising back is not really a thing. Yeah, flush draws don't want to call, it looks like. It's just some of these aces. Then we have an overcard, a flush draw, and a gut shot. So that's probably when I call. I guess. I don't know what you're clicking. I, I don't hardly ever know what I'm looking at. <laughs> Follow the box here. The pot, the flood, check, bet small, check, raise. This is our check, raising range. Yeah, but when you click filters, like I thought, so that's our check, raise range, right? Yes. Yeah, for a second ago, I thought it was. I was like, oh, we hardly have any. Yeah, that's his, uh, we were looking at his calls. That's uh, what I was showing you. Once we check, raise, he doesn't raise back. That's gotcha. what I was telling you. I was surprised he got, we got jam. We got jams here. It's only five percent of the time. So, you say we're in trouble when we raise here, but I'm saying he doesn't raise back. Yeah, this doesn't. Uh, uh the real people might, but this is only using That's ten right. jacks, That's right. nine That's eight right. or something. Yeah. All right. So I think a bet four would be great here. I like it, huh? Do we check back? I guess not. Out of position, so. Yeah. We check raised. We pick up equity. We're going to barrel. Small. Again. Yeah, an easy double barrel, I think. Open four. Yeah. We'll we check, check back quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Correct. 50 50. Ooh. Huh. This is yeah. well. We got, we got blockers galore. I think we got a jam. We got it Block. sent in here. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree. I think we really want to be both in a hand like this. Push three by button. Jam. So who's with the block? I'm with the block. Hundred percent. I mean, yeah, like it's this node. All the cookies. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, sometimes. Ten percent of the time, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, he calls. <laughs> <Got it>. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we didn't block. Sets. Huh. I probably just fucking check pool floor. But, but... I like to call here. Yeah. Two of us to the second pair, back door. Back um, first. Yeah, you want to race her? Seems spicy. No. That board feels like people are not folding enough. Feels oh, no. like I want to have more straight interaction. A black five here sounds a lot better. It's high, so I think not uh, this time. Don't that is fold. He bets one though. Yeah, this is just a call. I think it's a call. Fold more, yeah. Gets me splashing around. <laughs> Yeah, when you're on the 30, you don't get to splash around as much. <laughs> with the with the junky backdoors. I mean, this is a raise. Actually, this might I'm be a raise. Call, I'm just calling here. Yeah, I'm I think that's fine. I think that's fine. And then, what if we add 6-4 with the 6 of speed? Oh, that's a raise. I think that's echo piece to good. That's the goal. This one is a call, and then six yeah. off for the six. Six four. Six that's some curious about three, yeah. three. We don't even need the spade for six four off. All right. We're up, yeah. right? I'm getting up. 
Well, we can even call sometimes. Get spicy at the call, but sure. Uh, what do we do here? Anyone raising? No, I'm just going to. No. So you, we're going to like raise like single pair type of hands, right? We don't you get know. better hands. For and, then, and then pre flop, we didn't have like a king, a queen. Yeah, we're we're so hard capped here. There's no there's no raising. Yeah, well, like you don't think we just pick spades? You think? I never raise on this board, even with spades. Are you raising top pairs? No top pairs at all. Like single top pair. Nope. Okay. I don't Wait. think we do on this type of board, right? Because it's also thirty big blinds. We raised all our top pairs at like twenty, right? But then this is not dry enough. The top pair is, is just like like catching, right? Yeah, our opponent has such a nut advantage here that it's just going to be really hard for us to, to battle. Okay. What is correct? So we do raise oh. this one. Turns out six Savage. Of the time. Huh? Like we we don't shove pre flop. We do shove like a bunch of our best aces. We need some top pairs in there. Okay, this one is like what do we have? Ace ten, ace nine, ace eight. Yeah. So it's not only spades or it's always like some kind of top pairs as well. And since we shove the best ones, like our top is lower. Yeah, I mean, like raising into this board. It's just pretty rough. Not not at all, because Pete, he, this guy's just range betting. I, I get it. If he has pocket six, no spade. You check raise here. What is he doing? Well, we, he'll fold. Yeah, he, should ju fold. he should just stuff it in our face. <laughs> I should. gotta admit, I, you if should. someone check raises me on this board, like they're just getting it, they're just getting the double barrel. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. I know what your range looks like. You have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can check raise with the single jack of spades here. A single ten of spades. <laughs> All right. And then we get better hands to fold, but I don't understand why we bet with we raise with uh, a seven, a eight. We don't get better hands to fold. It's a top pair. It's just the top pair. It's a race of value, so. It's our yeah. best top pair, so. Oh. The, Three or four or five best top pairs are always raising somehow. Okay. All right. At least the top three best top pair you got in your range. Yeah. Like usually it'd be ace king, ace queen, ace jack, and then we would be a lot more, it'd be a lot less raising, but because of scenario and stack that, we just don't have them. You check raise me on this board, you're getting the Burt Stevens treatment and you're getting clicked back. <laughs> Good luck. You're special. Well, Pete, I'll be check raising you <laughs> relentlessly <laughs> with my S6. You're, you're, um, you're getting put in Burt Stevens' fault. It's going to yeah. get a click and war. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now what? Now what? It's easy. We bet. It's easy, well, yeah? Oh, <laughs> oh well, we get easy. Your it's hand got value before. It's not value. Your, your hand got downgraded to marginal made. I think it's just a check. Probably just a check, right? Yeah. Oh, that's more fairly. The thing is, mm. my check raise and the flush complete, my range yeah. could barrel small. I mean, we, we have way more flushes. But this hand is just like, uh... yeah. Yeah, but your range has junky stuff like a like a low jack X, now fourth pair. It's like, I'm okay with bluffing that hand. A low jack X here, then. A jack four? Yeah. yeah. They're in there. Jack four, jack eight, jack nine. Yeah. Was like those aren't even really marginal made. Ace X is marginal made now. Jack X is kind of trash. No, th those are your bluffs that you uh, check yeah. with, right? Yeah. Oh, when the flesh completes and the four liner completes, it's just uh <laughs> How do you like this disrespectful bet? 
Well, <laughs> are you still dancing more? <laughs> Oh, we win. Oh, my goodness. Oh. He oh, no, we don't. We, oh, no, no, we, we do don't. not we win. He just straight. has a straight. <laughs> All right. Check raise. Okay, so what's the worst AD check raiser? He checked back the straight. Check back the straight. I think you yeah. call eights just like this that aren't good enough really to raise for value and don't have straight interactions. So, like, you raise a lot of like 10 eight that, that's going to run out a lot of straights. You raise a lot of ace eight, which beats other eights. This one's I'd, be, I'd be surprised if this is not check raise at least some um, like yeah yeah I think you like I think like nine eight ten eight ace eight are the most that's the prediction I think ten eight and nine eight's the, the worst one you check raise yeah it it might pick queen eight because uh ace eight we're gonna be uh three betting pre-flop so might pick up the king eight and the queen eight here yeah. You need yeah, we don't to have full frequency. King eight. You can jab him eight six eight five. A lot of space. I um um, almost all space. And then straight interaction, right? Six or five. A nine. Now we just check. Yeah, it's pretty bad for a hand. Um. Yeah, uh, he floating a lot of jacks. Not really. Did we just cool on the floor? We were oh, betting a lot. Yeah. Hello, you raised. Turn. We should be betting most of the time on this turn. Yeah, like the jack's kind of a brick for him. No, no, we we aren't betting. He's betting. You were looking at cutoff strategy. This hand checks like 98% of the time. We looked at it. it showed it. Yeah. I mean, King 8, Ace 8. That's right. We check 85% of the time here. Wow. Yeah. yeah, because the whenever the flush completes, like we can bet if we have the card of the suit, basically. But otherwise, it's tough, right? No card of the suit. Not much to do. All right, so he bets. Feels bad. I think yeah. we can fold. Yeah. Oh, we can. Wow. Yeah, no spade. I think we defend mostly based on spades. Yeah, or maybe some straight interactivity there, like having a 10 or a 9 still has a gutter. It's a pretty bad ace. We're going to raise some of our best ones. This doesn't really qualify. Yeah, I agree. Spade is nice. We will raise a lot of single spade hands, but not really this. I agree. We'll, we'll raise some 7x and 8x. And then, okay, let's let's see how it breaks down the a6. Ace jack is the cutoff, I bet. No, no, not at all. Holy crap. It's because the 7 and the 8 allow us to barrel when, with the 9 and the 6. It's basically a 7 that they hang in there. Mm -hmm. A7, A9, A10, the top three. No, A10 and A7 only. Because everything else is two pair. Okay. And then this square here of spades. Colin. <laughs> yeah. The six pair. Can we do a little something here? You just don't think we lead? I think we just. 
We have a pair, so it would take yeah, yeah. You can bet well, sometimes it does. It does the block. We could a little bit, but mostly just to check it's fine. He checked back to bear. Oh wow. Well. Oh, I was watching some videos about like AI playing AI in poker. And it said, oh, that they check back stronger hands in the solver land because they expect like the opponent to have bluffs that humans don't find. Yeah, that sounds that sounds correct. What's our worst check raiser? Ooh. You check raise the six seven of spades. Oh, um, we've got the board Pretty okay. Ace four of clubs. Yeah, ace four of clubs is seems cool. Ooh. Four of clubs, Peter. You asked for the worst. I'm getting in there. Ace four of clubs, bottom of range. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna send you to lag jail, man. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm thinking more like offsuit cars, like. Junk. <laughs> That's the six worst four, junk you raise. Here. How about like six four off? Seems pretty bad. Six four off seems like I'm folding. Right. Yeah. Nine ten. All right, Jack ten suited. If it didn't raise pre. Jack ten nine ten. Queen ten. Uh, six four can get after it for some slivers. <laughs> hmm. Seven six. Three deuce. After. <laughs> Three deuce suited. No one had the trader. Four deuce. Double and backdoor. You, and you thought I was loose. <laughs> These four are clubs. Not gonna win by checking down by checking and calling three high, right? So basically, mm -hmm. anything above a five that has a backdoor flush. That's what I see. What was it? Ace four of clubs? Or... Ace Sometimes. four of clubs. Sorry. Uh, no. Oh. Oh. I mean. But the wheels, good good, good spirit, the wheels. Um. Yeah, anything above a five that has a backdoor flush. Let's see. What's Jack 10 offsuit here? A punt. Such a bullshit. <laughs> okay. So, probably our lower equity hand. Uh, the five. So, it's really that, right? And then queen four here. Oh, this is great. Like nine, seven, nine, nine, seven, and eight, seven seems kind of, kind of crazy. Line seven, it's just two high cards above the, the five with the backdoor mm -hmm. flush. So it's a pair draw and a backdoor flush draw. But we're defended it's... by raising more than defended by cool. Yeah. yeah. Every time it's a, pair it's board, a yeah. second pair backdoor flush draw raise. Okay, so nine six suited here. Yeah. Queen four of one of the floor. Why? Uh, diamond, diamonds and hearts. Okay. Oh. Lewis, are you serious? Raise. Wait, did, did Lewis, did you say fold? Yeah, he said fold. No, we have a, we have a gutter. What we a have net. a direct gutter. I you can call it's a small bet. You can't fold this versus a small bet. We have a uh, backdoor straight we'll flush draw. We're I'm about to raise. Steel I'm about wheel. to raise. I'm so they were raise looking for check raises. Turn two of spades. River five of spades. Oh, uh, you gotta this check one. Raise. This one wants to call because we're gonna raise worse ones. We're gonna check yep. raise queen three instead of king three. King three has some showdown. Yeah. Okay, and then would you rather pick like the king of spades when you have a king three off combo? Yeah, generally. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yep. Yeah, king of spades seems reasonable. 
I'm a little spicy with the three, but we don't want a pair of three. We want a two. Uh, all right. This isn't really worth much here. Oh my goodness! What is this? Buff it. <laughs> Never has deuce. He never has. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is a bad card for us. Check for A's turn blast. Okay, what's going on? It probably just pushing the nut advantage. Yep. Yeah, we have we have a do sometimes. Cutoff doesn't really play a guessing game. You want to call? You want to put all your chips in to find out whether we have a straight or not? Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You like you like games? Yeah, guessing games. <laughs> How many sixes do we also have, bro? All of it. <laughs> all, all of them. Of <laughs> all of them. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 Right, right. This is such a mandatory bluff. Yeah. <laughs> Watch him lift us up with just like ace, ace ten. I hate turning bottom. Part. Because we just have so many straights here that ace ten is just is just crying. Ace ten is just miserable. I like fun. Ace eight. Yeah. Which even has a straight blocker to the, the super nuts. I'm going to check raise this. Oh, check this Oh. Is it not a check raise? It is not. But ace four, ace three, ace deuce, which you get better ace. Oh, I don't get better aces to fold, right? That's right. It's not a good check raise because ace nine, nine is never folding. No better aces fold here. So my check raise is worthless. I could remember. Well, we check raise, so let's change the move and just call JK. Turn to Jack. We check raised here. Wow, we are wild. We were wild, but we got. We check raised here. <laughs> we, uh, rest Blame, rest it on me. Blame it on me. <laughs> I learned so much from Lewis. People don't believe me. That's fine. Why wouldn't they believe you then? <laughs> no, I'm like, yo, join. Yeah, babe, why did join? They I'm like, me? join the study group with the mid stakes bros. Why not? And they're like, no, those are not those are not high stakes people. I'm like, well, that's your loss. <laughs> it is fine. I wonder who these people are also, because it's like as though the high stakes crushers want me in their study group. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Like, let's let's all be reasonable. Uh... I mean, Fadal's sending me messages on Discord all the time, man. <laughs> <laughs> man. It's like how 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 you coming how, how you coming forth in the in the four dollar bounty builder with three with three thousand people? Come on, Lee, where's pocket four? <laughs> we raise her. <laughs> wow, what the fuck is all oh, in? God, and I would just dump it. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! The what are we trying to get? We're trying to get go by nine. Are we, are we trying to value bet against nine? Two pair. <laughs> two this pair. Is a wild, this is a wild hand. Yeah, more wild. If you do wild. this in game, I want to see it in the Braggs and Beats channel. You just you just chop every time. Like it's okay. Sometimes we. All right, but that's six. Fine. Wait, sometimes we lose. Yeah. Oh, and we got two pair. Two pair. Possible to lose. I, I guess pulled. if you if you bet six, maybe he still calls with a set, right? Like it's it's that threshold of what you get called by. I didn't think we had much raises here. I mean, eighty five percent cool. Fifteen percent more raising than I thought. I mean, bottom pair. I ain't raising much. Yet. I mean, we just check fold now, surely. What? We have a spade, Lewis. No. Oh, goodness. Seven. <laughs> what am I looking at? This is a bluff. You turn it into a bluff, surely. Yeah, point 
one one EV. It's a buff. Is it the farm of Spain? What is it that we're turning into a bluff? The the spade uh, portion of our hand? I mean, a five. I don't know. It's a spade. It really is a spade. So we're blocking the six eye flush. The five eye flush. Right? <laughs> so ace is out there. The five is here. So that means the nine is here. Actually, you know what? The queen is here. So what does he have? King six, king seven? You have a nine. It's actually, a, when you think about it, with this particular run out, it's a really good spot to bluff because ace is out there, queen is out there. We blocked like king five. King nine is blocked. King queen is blocked. So it has to be king ten of spade here. I mean, it's one, it's one of our worst hands as well, surely, this... this... This pair. So what size did it go for? Seven, right? Yeah, big. So, okay, we gamble on the fact he doesn't have the straight here. Uh, he doesn't have the flush. Like, because of a queen? Yeah, he calls with second pair. It's fine. It's fine, because we're going to check raise him here. Right? Is this not the prime candidate to check raise? I think it's okay. It's probably a board that we check raise a lot, so you can go for it sometimes, right? I think it's great. No, you're one percent of the time. You're gonna want you're gonna want more straight equity blockers than ace four. You're gonna want like ace seven. Yeah, we have a lot of interaction on this board anyway, though, so you don't have to check raise everything. I think it's, it's just because our spade is too low here. Yeah, yeah. like it's probably definitely going to do the ace of spades all the time. So our five of spades is not great. Unless you have straight, to, it, that, as people say. Yeah, you can see it, it wants to raise with when you have a seven or a ten in your hand. A ten queen, ten king. Uh, even the ten of spade is not that aggressive, right? It is when you don't have. Okay, so having an ace, it's kind of showdown, right? Yeah. So it's really picking those, the upper part of the straight that have a spade. Mm -hmm. And like a little bit of seven, seven, queen seven queen six, is. seven five. It's over cards with spade, which is an ace high. Oh, it's going. Are we going to bluff the four spade? No. Are we going to fold it? Uh, I mean, probably uh, not. I mean, I was going to say, I can get a board with folding. Like, <laughs> like his bluffs kind of got there. Like, if he was bluffing with Jack Eye, if he was bluffing with a flush draw. Yeah. Fold. Would you raise 910 of hearts, sir? Yeah, 910 of hearts is yeah. nuts. Yeah, yeah it's, like a new, it. it's a new second pair. The deuce is really disconnected from the queen and the eight. So you're only going to play with cards between the queen and the eight, really? Yep, I agree. With a backdoor think... flush, anything in between that with a backdoor flush? With, with hearts much. and spades, maybe not so much with diamonds. All the high lows, like king five, that have like all the over cards, ace five, king five? Um, No, because <laughs> the, like, the wheel isn't going to become part of the equity. You're going to want to connect around the eight better. High well, actually, I think, think you're... No, because... I think... King five, you could maybe let go more. Ace five does have a backdoor to um, the effect of nuts. Wheels is the nuts here because you get better aces to fold. Yeah, but like King is going to want to go with like a, a a nine. Like there's a lot of just King nine, King ten, King Jack that's going to want to go. I disagree here. here, Pete. I think King five is right in the mix. Maybe I'm wrong. That's it.
Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, but King Nine, King Ten, King Jack. Definitely, right? Yeah. Ten nine oh, mostly oh. jams, pre. Like this portion here, this block. Yeah. And then our top pairs. Down to the six kicker. Wow. Okay. They, they these two are really frisky, don't you think? They have, they have backdoor straight interaction, right? Oh, so you think it's because of the eight? Yeah. It's the connection to the eight, and you're going to block the continuations. The six. What could happen good with her with a six? I don't understand. Seven. When, nine. when an equity card turns between the queen and the eight, when your opponent picks up a straight draw, you're going to have a relevant blocker to value that's going to help your queen show down better. So you mean like a 10 or a nine? Yeah, like when, a, like when a seven, a, right? When a nine or a seven rolls off on the turn, your six is going to be a blocker against your opponent's value that they pick up when they turn a straight draw. So we're trying to block a portion of the deck that could make this trade. Okay. How many fours do we check raise? Not Is many. It... Probably not many, right? Not on an A side board. I mean, I this don't know, was... it's one of the spots where you start to see uh, some weak fours show up as bluffs. Hmm. Should the cut the cutoff not go bigger? The C bet? Of the two Broadways or not? Uh, maybe, maybe that's a portion of a strategy in lead. It's going to be two sizes lately. Yeah, but now it's mostly small. Majority hmm. small bet. Because of the stack depth, we don't really get to size up, but it, it was a thing. Okay. Still a thing this deep, but less. Uh. How many fours do we raise? Any fours. Person not going into C bets too much, probably, but normally I fold. Go make, fold. Make the like make it like five four of clubs. Or no, five four of diamonds. Do you check rings? I don't know. I think it's reasonable. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. No. What about queen four? Oh, yeah. Victor, you got that. Yeah, that's better. Straight interaction with a little four above the jack. Yeah. I mean, five four had that too. Five four has the wheel draw. Yeah, as well. Yeah, probably both. Probably so more. We prob actually, we probably just don't raise fours here. Am I right? And if we raise them, it's probably like yeah, three, maybe four or five four. Oh yeah, you want the the interaction with the back draw straight. Oh. I think we have the wrong suits too. Not what? many fours that are raising. A ten four. Queen four offsuit. Queen deuce. Four off. three. Four deuce. Hmm. Queen four. We have that queen four. Yeah. We didn't know it was offsuit. Yeah, you queen need a six. spade. Yeah, Queen four with the same, right? That's a different property. Yeah. Oh. Okay, a queen five is more of a thing. No hearts here, right? No back doors. Those those are also flushes, queen five and queen three. Yeah. No back doors, right? No. We call, but we don't read the games. Ha! Ah! That's why I wanted to raise my four. That was also bingo. Uh, bet four. Lead. Yeah, you lead her. Yep. Mm, I don't know. Makes sense. Yeah. Lead I think these sizings are kind of weird for the donk. Like, I often see donks more like 33. Yeah. Um, the one's kind of too small for me, and the other one's kind of too big. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. Missing maybe something here. 
And uh, we're definitely gonna keep betting. We have nearly the nuts. A ten? I like to go big arena. Seven. Like I think ten is as big as we can get. No. no? Seven. Pete is on seven. I'm on ten. Who else? I like. I like. I, I like, like ten. Bet seventeen or eleven. Seventy, Roger. I, mean, I don't know. I don't. Know. But yeah, as... I mean, there's some there's some natural bluffs Maybe here. Just... Like, if we had any Broadway bluffs, if we had any spades, um, this is and this is like just the nuts. So we have some strong value. We have some big bluffs. One okay. big. I mean, what? One big. Like you're just missing <laughs> so much value. Yeah, I don't agree with the silver here. <laughs> That's wrong for seven. <laughs> he said oh, he's uh, supposed to raise but, us with like ace queen or whatever here. The solver was praying for this to happen. Yeah, yeah just jam. Them. <laughs> uh, uh, get I, mean, the... I mean, I am not bad. When I'm in my game, I'm not betting one big one of the trips. <laughs> he went for it with Queen Ten. Uh, versus the Russian or Brazilian do that. Yeah, he straight up <laughs> attacked or black bet like it was nothing. Is this a raise, Louis? Ah, ah. <laughs> I say no. No, Queen of Spades, maybe. Queen of Spades, Queen of Spades not maybe. Every time. Every time. Yeah, Queen of Spades. Very good. Ooh. 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 Louis, you're, you're, you're losing two big blinds per hundred. I know. Just money on the table, just giving it to the Brazilians. Giving it, man. So there's bad. There's this guy with a Brazilian stake in logo on his pro <laughs> profile picture. So yeah. apparently someone's like, yeah, you know, um, you know, everyone's over bluffing recreationals. Everybody is over bluffing. And then we found out he was talking about Brazilian cash players. And then everyone's like, wait, does any of this have to do with the American tournament players? And he's like, no, we're talking about Brazilian cash players. <laughs> wait, you're talking about thinking poker? Yeah, that's what he was talking about. That was such a weird point in the interview. Yeah, I was like, I don't think this is true. And he's like, oh, it was actually Brazilian cash players he was talking about. In in the low stakes tournaments, the, the pit players are not over right. <laughs> Especially then, in the river. Like, it was the, the day I listened to that interview, I had a spot where I was in a cash game where I was supposed to call down with a set and it's like supposed to be worth, you know, 25 big blinds for the river call or something when a flush completes and like he has the flush, obviously, right? Because like, <laughs> yeah, questionable if that call is worth twenty five big blinds in my pool. Hold. Do we lose LP? I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm just. Wondering if we raise this or not with the nine. Yeah, it's kind of junky, but we do have three to straight through the flush. This is yeah. This is going to be a a smaller part of the strategy. This is a big bet board for him, eh? Had this stacked up? I don't know. Uh, yeah. just, I mean, in game, he's stacked up. He'll he's still still have a bigger set. So have a, like a yeah. Mostly. Oh. I mean, this yeah. is Jack Ten Deuce, not Jack Ten Eight. I just fold, like, I mean, yeah. Fold or three bets. Folding oh, is God. easy. Is this a good combo to check? I mean, if you're deep stacked, I mean, you can get a bit out of line, but, you know, with, well, with 30 bits. Let's think about it. We check raise all of our spades, or a lot of them. Yeah. It's not a single space. Then we go by straight interaction. When we pick straight interaction, we're gonna, probably going to go with the top first, right? So queen X, maybe king X. Do we need to pick up nines in there? We don't have an overcard to the 10. Yeah, probably just a call, right? No, no, no call. Not even, <laughs> not even a call. Okay. It's one percent of this. I'm I'm fine with that. Hold Very small here. sliver. But the nine of spade here, I have to raise, right? Over card to the four. We could make a backdoor flush. 
can make second pair. This is the nuts. Am I wrong? I think this is a fold. I think we have better uh... stuff to get there with. Yeah, you can add uh, six and a six for us. This is not the nuts, Pete. No, you're going to want to check raise with a three or a five in your hand, and then yep. you're going to want to have a jack. Are you sure? Nine of spades not good enough here. I mean, Nine of spades even... isn't good enough. We're here we with don't... all kinds of ace, king, queen, and jack of spades. What if it's like eight, seven here? I mean, we yeah. need free to a straight or an overcard at least. We don't have any of those. So you need a jack here. Okay, okay, maybe that's right. Yeah. yeah, if you have, you need the jack of spades, or you need a three or a five here. So would nine three? Nine seven would be better. Nine seven with a spade. Would nine three or nine seven do it sometimes? Nine eight. Nine eight. I, I like nine eight. Yep. Nine seven. No. Nine eight. Yes. No oh, nine seven. No. Okay. Nine three. Not in range, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's easy. Yep, best value hand five point five. Yeah, big side. Yeah. That's a little big, no? This is the best one. You're gonna pick one to go big with. This is it. Okay, I agree. Hmm. You've seen this before. Nine, uh, that good or bad? That's a terrible thing. Terrible. Terrible. This is an atrocity. I agree. But you could check all that. Like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, we, we can still check all. So, bet we'll off check all. or bet right. off flat? I think we go off flat, right? That's check how we our... You guys are check calling, though. I think we need to last our top pair. They like he never has an eye. And if he has it, GG. I mean, yeah, like. Yeah, we're going to be. Yeah. Oh, like, the nine yeah. pair is really not good. <laughs> so our check raises that were suited based didn't pick up equity. Okay. So our check raises would check. So you, you'd say a nine of diamond would barrel more? Yeah. We, we would have some natural barrels because we, we would have some bluffs that picked up diamonds. Yeah, this is a range check. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. What? Oh. Oh. That's Just not doing it when we hit that. Yeah, try an eight, I guess. It's just an overcard. It's not the it's suit. It's such a bad card. Not the suit. I mean, they just have they just have way more nines than us, so they have the nine advantage. When you don't have the nine advantage, you have to check a lot. Pretty sure if the three pairs, it's never happening, right? If the three pairs, we just blast. Am I wrong? I mean, the problem is we're, we're capped, right? Are we? With Jack Race? Yeah, when the nine comes. When the we really we did check, we did check raise many nines. Did we not? Yeah, really thin on lines, right? We don't have two pair. We don't have the full house or nothing. That's right. We don't check raise enough nines. So if the nine comes, ooh, it's really bad. Yeah, also for the sizing that we took, right? It's our best value, so. Check, check on the turn. We got to go for value. Do we? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. It's only small. I like the call, yeah. I like the cool. All right. You want to hold? I misclick. <laughs> Check. Check. Yeah. Do we lead here? No, not with this hand. Why? Yeah, we have we have lots of leads, but not with this hand. We have a pair. 
Wow. Then it's not, it's more value than value lead. Just because the five pairs. Generally, when the five pairs were much more polar with the strips on the board, where we're going to be really, po we're going to be really crazy with our fives and really crazy with our draws. It looks like it's betting eight. Just eight, rage. It's just, it's just a basically a rage. Yeah, bet, yeah, I guess. Yeah, oh, I guess the five is just so good for us that we can just do. But our over bets, it looks like our over bets are still. No, no, it's our, not really using big size. Really oh, our big bets are like the the brown size. The bet for that's fifty percent. So, so it's half pot and then tiny. Yeah, even like it's just so like, then. There's maybe not we're missing much... sizing here. <laughs> But yeah, that's really cool. So don't bet huge because we want to bet everything. Yeah, bet small on a five. Yeah. And since we can bet everything, we can bet the ten. Yeah. And then bet again. But maybe size up, yeah. Because our five wants to size up a little bit, no? Are we, we trying to get value from draws? It? We're trying to get paid sixes, by... sevens. <laughs> Check the, the person on ACR that has this marked as a maniac, and then you know, they just call us. Uh, it just feels like when the five pairs, we just double barrel a lot. Not trying to get told by words here. I'm, I just like think like after we bet and he calls, he's so cat, and we have so many fives. How do you, how do you play a five here, Lewis? Uh. Bet seven. And see, that's where I'm at, kind of. You know, with this 10 as well. And I'm not. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> it's a black bet. I like yeah, it. Like what, what makes sense here? You allow them to spaz out with spades or a straight draw. Yeah, but I would like to have some value from bears that are on with that. That's why I want to go bigger. Right. I mean, I don't think our hand's worth seven. I think we're wasting now. It's worth one. It's not worth seven. I think if you have a good That's kicker, nice. you like like you know, you can bet bigger if you got like you know king ten, queen ten. You can bet bigger because you get worse tens to call. That's right. But otherwise, it's just it's just worth one, as you say. Then, so it's really kicker oriented. Our kicker is strong enough, you can do it. Does our um, opponent has uh, lower pairs there or not? Otherwise, yeah, the, cutoff, could have... the cutoff is like uh, 10 it queen because it's betting all the jacks big. Yeah, so the seven, six, and eight, I want to get value from, from betting five. And yeah, but that's my way of thinking about it. Oh, well, it's fine. Solver says it, so it should be true. <laughs> <laughs> the almighty solver. Yeah. What about this one? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, probably. All right. Anyone else? We have a backdoor though, but it's very thin. Hold this. You bunch of nets. We have the queen of spades. How could we ever fold? Yeah, well, I'm small bet. This is the nuts. Feels so fishy, man. Mm. This is the nuts. Nah, but like nuts. He's, he's range betting. He has like 10 9 of clubs here sometimes. He has like pocket yeah. fours. So like he has nothing. I, I like I like it. Not if a you have... though. Louis, if you have queen, queen five or queen eight here. Yeah, then we have uh, extra. Okay, so this might not be the nuts after all. <laughs> Upon review, queen three might not be the nuts, but queen four. Queen five is the nuts. Queen five, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And queen eight. What a hell of a hell. There you go. Five. The super nuts. Yeah. So straight interaction. <laughs> yeah. Straight interaction, flush interaction, new second pair. New second pair with the queen. Yeah. With the queen or the eight, right? Like that's why the eight even does ah. it more than the five. 
Okay. So that's why it's picking queen nine. Okay, okay. And then queen jack, not so much. Queen jack's too good, it just calls. No man's land, we're going to shove and move on. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't think we can do something here, do right? Yeah, I think that's all looks good. What about yeah. ace 10 or ace 7? Oh, cool. Ace 10, ace 7 of diamonds. Cool. You don't raise ace 7 of diamonds? Mm, no. Why? I prefer to have a 10 or a jack in my raises. I don't think if you or have a king ace or. Seven, if you have ace 7, the answer is you don't get better aces to hold. Right? Ace 10, ace 9, ace 8, ace jack, everything connects here. Yeah, I think you really want to have like king 10, king jack. Me hammering here. So straight interaction here at 10. 10 is yes. a, a 10 or a jack. Yeah, with and, with, the, and the, flush. the king is an over too. So, so jack 5 of diamonds here. Yeah, that's uh... Maybe jack six of diamonds. So you get the straight on both ends. Oh, well, we got it. We, we need yeah, a jack six card. of diamonds. A straight card with the backdoor flush. The jack or the ten. How? And then oh, to deuce. To that's deuce. just up there. So we knew that already. So I really like that we figured out straight interaction is really important when it comes to check raising. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody.